So you finally decided that you want to start your own 360 photo booth business. Your next question is, which 360 photo booth do I get? I'm going to go over that today. Guys, welcome to Photo Booth Elite. My name is Gary, and today I'm going to explain to you what type of photo booth you should get, especially if you're a beginner. So let's get right into it. So here's mine. You see all the lights and everything. We'll talk about that later, but for right now, we're going to focus on actually getting you the right photo booth for your needs. Mine in particular is 35.1 inches, so it's going to fit about three regular people comfortably. See me, I'm six feet, about 230, so you can get about three of me up here and we'll be comfortable. You can also get about four regular size people and they'll be comfortable as well, but if you get a few people that are a little on the plus side, you might want to narrow it down to maybe two, three people at a time. Now, as with any photo booth, it's going to come with a standard ring light. But you're going to want to upgrade to this one. I'll explain that one later as well. But for right now, let's get into the logistics. Now, when you do decide to order your 360 photo booth, you want to consider the size. Mine is 35.1, like I mentioned earlier, fits about four people. And my size, if it goes any larger, it probably would not fit in my, my minivan, my SUV. So you also, you definitely want to consider that. But you also don't want to go too small. You don't want to go with one that's, I don't know, maybe 26 inches and only holds like two people. You do that and you go to one of these big events, you're going to have people waiting in line forever. Because sometimes when you actually do the rendering, it takes about a minute. So if you got 200 people waiting and you can only fit one or two people on your, on your 360 booth, they're going to be waiting forever. They're going to get frustrated. So you want to be able to have one that has the capacity to hold at least three to four people. Five, six, seven people, the big ones don't really need that. Uh, hell, a lot of times groups don't even hop on the, the ones that that, that size anyway. So don't waste your money on that. Keep it in a range three to four. That's the most cost effective and it's going to be the most effective for your events. Now for your very first photo booth, I don't recommend trying to break the bank to try to get the most expensive one with the most bells and whistles. You don't even have experience with it yet. So you want to start off maybe modest. Uh, they range in price anywhere from $849 all the way up to I've seen some as high as $3,000. You don't need to get the one that's $3,000 because hell, it's going to take way too long for your return on investment for that one. And in addition to that, hell, the maintenance cost is probably going to be high if something does happen to it. So keep it modest. Stay in the eight to maybe twelve hundred range. Move forward from there. All right. So me, I got a good deal on mine. Normally it was twelve hundred, but I got mine for about eight hundred fifty. Did that because I bought it around Black Friday, so they had a huge discount. So yeah, I got over like Fat Cat. And but they do have some that are out there for about eight hundred, nine hundred something dollars. So. Definitely want to start there if it's your very first one. You know, like I say you'll need all the bells and whistles. I'll show you what this one does, but it is an upgrade for some of the older models that makes it a lot more convenient for what you're going to be trying to do at your events. And I'm going to explain that to you as well. But as far as the company I went with, uh, you can find them on Amazon, M-B-O-B-A-O, -O, something like that. I'll post a link at the bottom. You can check it out. Go get your own 360 booth. All right, so the feature I like most about this particular brand is this nifty little contraption right here. Because all you have to do, turn it a few times, you can adjust down or up, however you want your 360 photo booth to be to get you the, the best visuals for whomever you have, especially if they're taller or shorter. You can adjust that. On the older models, you'd have to unscrew like four screws and then adjust it and then the screws back in. It takes up way too much time. This is extremely convenient. So another feature I like about this particular model is the built-in LED lights. On some of the other models, they don't have the built-in LED lights. So you have to go and get the little strips out there and it has to have its own power outlet. This is built automatically into the 360 photo booth. So it's going to save you a lot of time and headache. And of course, the presentation is great as well. So another great thing about the brand that I actually bought is that it comes with its own carrying case. You put it in here, you lug it around. It's cool, but it's a head. What they also send you is a flat case. You put it in here, it 
it has wheels on it, you roll it around to your events. You can actually even store extra things in there. So it's very convenient, gonna get you where you need to be, and you won't break your back trying to carry and lug this thing everywhere that you go. And folks, there you have it. You have all the information that you need to make a decision on the type of 360 photo booth that you wanna go with. We're beginners, so we're not gonna go out there trying to break the bank. We're gonna get something that's sustainable, something we can that's gonna fit into our vehicle, and something we can move around without breaking our backs. I give you all that information. I get out there, buy your damn 360 photo booth, let's get this thing going. Oh, also, like, share, and subscribe, or, or don't. I don't really care, man. Just go out there, get your money.